Right then, hello, good evening and welcome everybody. My name is Paul, I'm also called Knickknack. God help me, I'm the brains behind Knickknack's Daily Teaser. It's a fun daily brain teaser quiz with, literally, that is just for fun. There's no prizes involved, much as I would love to be able to afford to hand them out. If you're watching this video version, you're watching it on Knickknack's Old Peculiar, my blog, or on my YouTube channel, Mr. Cuddy 2977 Please feel free to hit like, hit dislike if you have to, hit the share button because that helps grow the channel, hit this little i button that's up here in the corner somewhere, but please feel free to hit subscribe. That way, when I post today's answers in tomorrow's quiz, you'll be the first to hear them. At any rate, it's the 10th of September, it's 2021, and we have five, 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 five whole questions about today in history. Question one. 10th of September is the feast day of St. Nicholas of Tolentino. He's a patron saint of where? Portugal, Spain, or France? Two, then Diana Rigg, God rest her soul, died on the 10th of September, 2020. She played Alina Terrell in which TV series? Doctor Who, Game of Thrones, or The Avengers? Three, the Lesser Judgment Day struck Constantinople on the 10th of September, 1509. What was the Lesser Judgment Day? An earthquake, a volcanic eruption, or a meteor strike? 4. The Large Hadron Collider was first used on the 10th of September, 2008. The collider is actually an experimental what? Nuclear fusion generator, quark detector, or particle collider? Five. Finally, which neutral country joined the UN on the 10th of September 2002? Rwanda, Switzerland, or Turkmenistan? That's today's questions, yesterday's answers. One, Jupiter. Two, China. Three, Queen Elizabeth herself. She's still on the throne and shows no sign of stopping. Four, Flash Gordon, five, Steve the Colonel Cropper. Um, just as a bit of trivia for you, Cropper, Dunn and Jones were all men members of the Jones-led Booker T and the MGs, the house band for Stax Record. All three of them played on the song, and they usually accompanied Oasis on a, quite a few of his tunes, at least in the studio. Dunn and Cropper were also regular members of the Blues Brothers band, They'd be, you'd see him playing uh, bass and guitar standing around somewhere behind Jake and Elwood. Steve Cropper had the long hair. Duck Don was always smoking a pipe. They were members of the Blues Brothers band alongside former MG's gun drummers, Steve Jordan and Willie Two Big Hall. What do you know? The Blues Brothers were backed by the MG's. What do I tell you? At any rate, that's today's questions and yesterday's answers. I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope you'd like to have a go as well. If you would, I need to see your answers on today's daily teaser post on Knickknack's Old Peculiar. Now, to get there, click on the link under this video or as it goes past on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. Once you get to the relevant post on Knickknack's Old Peculiar, click, scroll to the bottom, hit post it. It works better on desktop, but it is on phones. Scroll to the bottom, hit post a comment, fill in your answers, leave your name, a social media link, and a message. Say hi, introduce yourself, then hit publish by 7am tomorrow UK time. Come back after 10 when I publish tomorrow's teaser. You can see how you've done, and if you're feeling really brave, you can have another go. Take care, have fun, be good, do not fall off that meringue. You'll end up covered in meringue. Take care now.